This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2014 Ram 2500 Crew Cab Short Bed. Uh, it is a 6.7 liter turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive. It's an SLT, which is cloth. Um, it has extremely low miles, 41,470 actual miles. It is a six speed manual transmission. This was a theft recovery purchase directly from an insurance company 100 miles away in Phoenix. Um, it is on a clear title and it's a badass truck. Um, the hardest part about this truck, they stole the seats. The car thieves stole the seats and finding seats with the COVID virus going around is impossible. We found some in Texas and they never shipped out because of whatever reason, the virus or whatever. And then one day we found a set of seats, manual seats in, uh, in Phoenix and shipped them down here, but it took forever to just get a freaking set of seats. <laughs> anyway, finally, uh, we were able to send it to detail and uh, get, it, get it online. Uh, my guys hand me an inspection. This is what it looks like. Super rare manual diesel 4x4 with very low miles. Let's see, what, what, what did we do to it? Uh, we replaced the stolen seats. The driver door window regulator uh, was replaced. The left turn signal socket was replaced. Um, right and left low beam headlight bulbs are new. Both batteries are new. <laughs> Rest in peace, Brian Dennehy. You know, Brian Dennehy. I'm trying to picture Brian Denny. I'm gonna have to Google that. Uh, I'm not really sure. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, sense of humor around here. Anyhow, rest in peace, Brian Denny. All right, let's uh, walk around this truck and uh, see what's happening. First of all, it's got a uh, beautiful set of Michelins on it. Obviously, somebody has recently replaced these uh, put these uh, new Michelins on it. I just took it to discount tires to get the tire pressures exactly right. 65 on the front and 80 on the rear. Um, cosmetically, this thing's gorgeous. Like, the only thing it's got is a little ding in the passenger rear door, which I don't think is going to matter to anyone. You know, I looked on car gurus and I put in uh, a search from 2011 to 2016 just for manual transmissions. I found three. And they all belonged to the same company and they were Rex. Uh, they had signed company or something. See this little ding right here? It goes like right there. It's kind of hard to, I don't know. Look at the photo gallery. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. It's not much, but it's my job to point out everything. And there's something wrong. I'm gonna show you. Anyhow, that car gurus thing was crazy. Uh, it came up in those, I think it's six years of search with three. And I think they belong to the same company it had some sign on it had a bunch of miles on them and you probably ordered all three at the same time very rare truck right here especially with the miles um, I would expect this thing to sell extremely quickly a because my brother doesn't like to sit on expensive vehicles very long look at the bed <laughs> uh, nothing's been in there um, he doesn't like to sit on vehicles very long especially when they're expensive and uh, he's not a big uh, manual transmission diesel guy. He would rather drive a BMW. So the appreciation factor is in your favor as the buyer. <laughs> so you're probably going to appreciate it more than he does. I think it's badass. But uh, what I'm going to do here, let me get in here. I got to work a clutch here. All right, I'm going to fire this guy up. Wait for the glow plugs. Put it in neutral so and set the brake all right let's see we're gonna open the hood so we're gonna go into the hood i'll take off the oil cap look for blow by just look under the hood in general Yikes, don't lie, ah, just ah, stop. 
think I should have closed the other door. The wind is driving me nuts today. All right, first things first, Kelly Blue Book. Short bed, uh, three quarter ton crew cab with 41,000 miles. Typical listing price would be 36.8 with a range of 33 to 39. That's low in my opinion. I don't think that they're accounting for that, the six speed part of it. That's not part of that math there. But Dennis is in charge of uh, pricing them, so maybe you'll get over on them. There's the uh, Carfax, there's the bin. History of events affecting this vehicle. They blend the Kelly Blue Book again. I don't think they're taking into account that it's a manual, but they blend the Kelly and the Carfax together and they come up with a history based retail value of 38.4. Vandalism damage, I'd be no seats. All right, so there's your bin, no accidents, no seats. That's the vandalism damage, obviously. Um, let's see, last service was at 39,836 miles in Claremont, yeah, Claremont Auto Center in San Diego. Okay, so that was just a couple thousand miles ago. And this is when it was recovered, obviously, 219 of 20 vandalism damage reported and that would be the seats gone all right so now you've seen that in the center console you do have a usb port and a plug power plug uh ba -ba -ba -ba, nothing there nothing there window let's see i don't want to lock myself out here i don't think you can lock the lock yourself out in a dodge i don't think they let you lock the doors unless the doors are all closed these little storage containers under here. These seats are, came out of a very low mile truck too, which we had to have obviously, or it would look terrible in a brand new truck. All right, window. Window, 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 mirror out, in, up and down, other side out, in, up and down, tilt wheel, boom, boom, that's that. You got the uh, tire pressures here, right here, you can go down, coolant temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, blah 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 fuel filter life all that stuff that's all that let's see we go back here go back here all that kind of crap anyway lots of stuff there um all right jace is gonna hop in here and drive it obviously i can't drive and do a video at the same time so, put a seatbelt on here. All right. All right, so what are we doing first? First of all, let's get some air on here. Freaking hot. Oh, uh, let's see. Climate. Boom. Oh, that's what we want. Oh, got to turn that on, huh? All right, so we're in four wheel, four high. Four high. That's the first. All right, reversing four high. There's your backup camera on, right? All right. Parking sensors. Parking sensors are going there. Now we're in four low. This ought to be granny gear here. Yep. <laughs> I think I can walk faster. All right. Well, that's all right. It's the first time with a manual. All right, there you go. So you've seen four-wheel drive and high and low. Now we're going back to two-wheel drive, and we'll go for a ride. Um, all right, this is a badass truck. If you uh, come to Tucson to drive this home, you will pay the following. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, 
plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Um, no tax, no dock fee, nothing, okay? Um, if you do pay by wire and ship out of state, once we receive full payment by wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in. Um, you will have the vehicle shipped from our location to your location. Um, the title will already be in your mailbox, so it'll be there before the truck shows up. Um, once the shipper brings your truck to you, you'll take the title and the truck to motor vehicles to get plates. Um, if you need help with shipping, let us know at the beginning of this. We can assist you. We can uh, roll the uh, shipping into the price of the vehicle, or you can do it yourself, whatever you need to do. Um, anyway, uh, deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale, so please make sure you get your deposit in. Last part of every video, I say the same thing every single time. Even though this is basically a brand new truck, I'm still going to say it. Um, we don't have salesmen with, you know, with, we don't have salesmen to, to pay. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge to hang out in. We don't have beautiful zip code. We have lots of razor wire, night vision cameras, uh, meth heads in the neighborhood, lots of them, um, and a few cops once in a while. That's what we got. Okay, they have fountains in the in the mall next door. So you're paying for that location. You're paying for salesmen. You're paying for the bottled water. You're paying for the lounge. Um, they also know at the uh, new car dealership that they sell you this truck and it breaks. You are going to come in and say, fix my truck. And they charge you for that too, okay? In this case, because it's an expensive truck, they're probably gonna add a grand to it and you'll never even know it. Um, just on the chance that you might come in. Well, we're not adding any money to it because we're not fixing your truck. This is your truck on day one. It's got a, how's the clutch by the way? Clutch is great. Clutch is great. Air's blowing cold, everything works. Uh, but the, on day one, it's your it's your truck. So you're gonna fix your truck. You're saving a bunch of money uh, on this truck from buying by buying from us. Yes, it's going to be expensive, but it is a unicorn. Um, but uh, it'll be a lot cheaper than it would be if you were to buy it at uh, anywhere else than from us. And uh, anyway, some of that money you're saving will have to go to do a repair eventually. I cannot imagine this thing breaking any time in the next hundred thousand miles unless you put it in a lake or into a wall. Uh, but you know change the fluid you know once in a while and that'll be about it um, Anyway, I think that's about it. We're gonna drive a little bit here. I'll shut up That's about it. I'm running out of time here on my uh, video. Got X amount of minutes here, and I'm about there. Uh, anyway, uh, please go over the video, read the ad, go over the photos, know what you're doing here. Um, I don't know how you could possibly be making a mistake on this truck. This is a badass truck, but we still insist that everybody reads everything and looks at every photo and does their due diligence. But I would do it quickly because. My brother's definitely going to underprice this because it freaks him out to have thirty thousand plus dollar trucks on our property, and and uh, he's not a big diesel guy. Um, I can appreciate it. Anyway, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.